Okay, in this clip we're going to talk to you about the role of service partner. Um, it's a really important role when uh, trying to hold serve. Uh, my goal when uh, service partner is to touch as many balls off the return as possible. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, the basic uh, starting position and then where I move to on the court depending on the serve of my partner. Okay, so basic starting position for a service partner is to have your outside foot in the very centre of the box like this, where the target is. Um, if my partner is going to serve wide, I'm going to move to the green cone. And if my partner is going to serve down the tee or into the body, I'm going to move to the yellow cone. The first sort of logic we have as service partner is to not get beat down the line. So the reason that I move to the green cone here is, as you can see with the rope, I can now lean and cover all this territory here. Now, if I move to the yellow cone for a tee or a body serve, you can see I can reach here and I've covered all that territory uh, for a down line return. Good day. Okay, so we've talked about positioning, where to move to after the serve. Uh, we've talked about how we cover the down the line return depending on what serve is coming. But also a big question is what territory do I have to cover, uh, especially in regards to the other way. Um, so for example, if the ball is served wide, I'm going to come here. If I pivot, judging for a fast return, I'm going to come here. You can see the rope covers and goes across the green cone. And now if I do uh, the movement for a T serve, I'm going to come to the yellow cone. I'm going to do another pivot to come here and you can see that the yellow cone is in the exact same spot as the green cone. And that's how this all, all ties together in terms of the positioning and the movement for the territory that the server's partner has to cover on the court. So the nice thing about having the marker is if your partner feeds the ball and you don't touch the ball, you can turn around and look and if the ball was inside the marker then it was your ball, you should have been able to take it and if it was wide of the marker then it's your partner's ball. Okay, so obviously as service partner my goal is to touch as many balls as I can off the return but obviously that doesn't happen all the time. So. The question is, what do I do once the ball goes back to my partner? So I've moved forward and now all it's about recovering to a more neutral position as the point continues. So I'm going to move back sort of diagonally and I'm coming here. If my partner James volleys down the line, I can hold my ground here. But if he volleys back cross court to the returner, I can shift across here to a more neutral position and then we're ready to play the point. All right, so in summing up, service partner, you move forward to the correct position, you try to touch as many balls as you can, and if you don't, you recover back and you continue playing the point.